Hey there, everybody. This is Jim Weigel. I'm with Blue Box Auction Gallery. I have another coin to tell you about in our upcoming fantastic numismatic coin auction. This one is an 1815 half dollar. And of course, you'll learn a, bit, a little bit more that it is a uh, overprint of an existing date. And I'll tell you more in just a little bit. Uh, this has a value range of 8,000 to 17,500. Um, this one is, uh, is slabbed and graded, and we'll get more into that a little bit later. So in uh, the history or the leading up to this interesting coin here um, is the following. In 1807, the cap bust obverse was introduced, right? Now Liberty now faces left, wearing a cap secured at the base with a ribbon or a band inscri inscribed Liberty with tresses falling to her shoulder. Her low neckline is draped in a cloth or a gown and is secured by a brooch on her shoulder. Seven stars are to the left and six are to the right. The date is below at the bottom. The reverse depicts an eagle perched on an olive branch and holding three arrows with E Pluribus Unum above on a scroll and United States of America with 50 cent surrounding. The edge displayed the lettering 50 cents or half a dollar. Okay. So Ron Guth comments on the PCGS website. He says time, excuse me, quiet time prevailed at the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia in 1815 where only quarter dollars, half dollars, and half eagles were made in that particular year. Mintages dropped precipitously on all three denominations, but especially on the half eagle. The mint produced only 47,150 half dollars in 1815, a far cry from the million plus mintage of the previous and subsequent years. It was a very, very special year. This makes the 1815 half dollar a standout among the cap bust half dollars and a rarity that is desire, desired in any grade, okay? What, hate, what makes the half dollar of 1815 even more interesting is that there are all over dates, okay? So with the five is punched over the two, so though only a portion of the underlying two is visible, there's like two spots where you can really see it on the left and the right, it can be seen, uh, it, uh, it can even, uh, be seen on worn examples as well. So that has a lot of different reasons of why it's a very special coin. I think you'd be quite pleased with this to add it to your collection. And um, we're really excited to have it as part of our group. So thanks for listening and we'll see you at the auction block. Take care.